What's up guys, it's Shane here from Fugitech 3D Printing and today we're gonna open up July's Maker Box. Hey guys, I have here my July Maker Box. I've been waiting to open it up until I had a hard nozzle because who knows what kind of goodies they put in here. It could be some nice exotics, but couldn't do that. Well, you can do it with a brass nozzle, but I would prefer to do it with a hard nozzle. So I now have a Microsoft nozzle on my GTEC Persi 3, and we can open this up. So let's get to it. Of course, we need our unboxing knife. Okay, so let's open it up. So Pokemon, Big Box is teaming up with local children's hospitals to bring joy to children on bed rest. With recent craze of Pokemon Go, we thought it would be a great opportunity to help bring children's favorite Pokemon to life. We're asking for your help to make this happen. If you're interested in getting involved, please send an email to info at makerbox.me. All participants will get a 15% off their next month's box and one lucky participant will re receive a grand prize. But there we go. You guys want to join in on the Pokemon craze? Print some stuff out, contact them, get a discount. You know, who can argue with that? So what else do we have in here? So Ridge Ink for PLA and ABS. It gives you instructions on how to use their filament. We've got stickers, so we've got Biltac sticker. Maker box sticker, a build tack discount code, which has QR code and a thing. I'm not gonna show that because I don't think they want me to. A 30% off micro Swiss, which is fantastic. Actually, I had got this uh, discount code early by email from them, and that's where I ordered my micro Swiss nozzle. But 30% off was quite significant. Great. All right, so now let's get into the filament. So we have from Form Ultra, Easy Wood Filament. Let's see, print settings, hot end 200 to 240, bed temperature 35 to 60 Celsius, speed 30 to 60 millimeters a second. Info, it looks, feels, and smells like real wood made with 40% grinded wood, can easily be sanded. And Yeah, maybe. Not too bad. And they give a 10% discount code. So we have Rigid Ink PLA put in there. Um, it's a really cool green. I haven't seen a green like this before. So this is 190 to 210 on the hot end, 40 to 50 on the bed, speed 40 to 90. Info, use typical PLA settings. So this will be Pretty good, this is Rigid Inks Green PLA. All right, so now we have some clear stuff here. So this is from Philobot, and this is their PET, PETG Plus. I have to print this at 235 to 245 Celsius, 60 to 80 degrees on the bed, 30 to 80 millimeters a second. It's high performance polymer, excellent chemical resistance, optical clarity, High impact strength. Very interesting. I have actually never printed PETG or PETG Plus. So this is gonna be super fun to print. And we're gonna have to find something cool to print with this clear, because it I mean it is absolutely transparent. So this will be fun. And lastly, from Toner Plastics, we have ASA. So this is very similar to ABS apparently. So the print settings are 240, 250 degrees Celsius. Bed temperature, 190 to 120 degrees Celsius. Speed, 50 to 90 millimeters a second. Similar to ABS, but with better weather resistance and superior UV resistance. That's interesting. Print something for outside, you know. And on all of these, uh, they give you discount codes. So they vary between each, you know, form. 
Ultra is 10% discount, Ridge and Ink is 10%, Philobot is 15%, and Toner Plastics is 50% off your purchase. Not even one purchase. And these are all good until the 831, so today is the 25th. I have six days to use these. Um, so I need to get printing on these to see if I like any of them. And I mean, a 50% discount, if there's something good from them, or if I can just pick up a PLA, um, you know, why not? Let's see what else is in the box. All right, so we have a Rigid Inks bag in here, okay? So what is this bag here for? My assumption is gonna be to take these bags, put them inside of here when you're done for like loose filament so that it's, you know, sealed tight. Oh, here it says on the bottom. Keep your rigid ink sealed in this bag to keep it fresh. There we go. All right, so now I gotta go find a model to print. I'm not quite sure what it's gonna be, but you know what? You're gonna find on these time lapses. So you ready? Let's do some time lapses. There's a video, a little bit of time lapses in there. Uh, my GoPro is kind of dedicated to another really long-term project that I've had some snippets in some of the groups. And so if you've been watching me on the groups, you're gonna see the groups in Facebook. You'll see what I was talking about. That's for a future review of another filament. But today we're gonna finish up with the MakerBox filaments. Okay, so before we do anything, we're gonna talk about the model that I'm going to use to test all the filaments from here on out uh, I subscribe to the Maker Box. It's going to come every month, so I want to do something that is, you know, the same every time. And I happen to think back to Angus's video when he did it, and he used his Maker Coin, but he did it at 100%. Well, this is my Maker Coin with the Hatchbox Orange PLA at what is this one? 500%. So we're going to do it at 200% because that is enough. The, the rolls that they give you, there's enough filament in there in order for me to do a 200% model of my Maker Coin. So this from now on is going to be, power blip, this from now on is going to be my testing model for all the filaments. So what I'm gonna do is when I print it, I can put it back inside the bag, put the bag away in the catalog, and if anybody ever asks, or if I need to go back and reference it, I can go back, take a look, and say, oh, this is how it printed. And that'll be a very good baseline for me. So the first filament I did was the Form Future Wood PLA. It's called their Easy Wood PLA. So here it is. This is their Easy Wood PLA. It came out pretty good. Uh, I've never printed with wood filament before, so this is a lot of learning for me. And yeah, so it was pretty stringy. So I probably had a little too hot. I was going off of what it said in the bag you know, which was 200, 240, I did it at 220. I guess I could have dropped it down to like 210 and see how that would have done. But you know, this is just a sample, just see how it is. It cleans up very easily. As you can see, it's not too bad. 
But here in the back, you can see here in the supports where it had to do a bit of the bridging over supports, didn't do very well. And that's this model kind of has that problem. Some filaments do better than others. This one did not do great at all with it, but the sides are super smooth. I mean, I could hit this with a piece of sandpaper on the back here, you know, here as well on the side where the support was, it didn't do very well, but I could hit this up with some sandpaper, you know, and have it cleaned up really easily. I have no sandpaper right now, so I kind of can't do it, but maybe, maybe in the future, I'll kind of do a, a wood filament finishing video once I figure out how to print well with it. But other than that, it's a pretty good model and it's a pretty good print filament. I like it. So, and even with the middle here, you can kind of see, it almost looks like it's grains down there. You know, the grain of the wood, like you took a piece of wood and just cut it. So, came out pretty well. The second filament that I am testing is Philobot's PET G Plus or PETG Plus. That being said, I have never used PETG or PETG Plus ever. So this again is another learning experience for me, just like the wood PLA was. Okay, so here's how that model turned out. The first thing you're gonna notice is that it's backwards. So between me slicing it for my G-Tech or for, for the FT5, this was printed on the FT5, it just, I don't know, I must have, I think the, the axes are swapped on the G-Tech and I did not redo this one with my FT5 profile. So that's how it came out afterwards. But aside from that, it printed pretty well. I mean, there, there's, I did not, Clean this one up. I definitely cleaned up the wood one. I did not clean this one up at all. This is how it, this is how it came, right off the build plate, um, except for the supports, which I obviously took the supports off. But aside from that, there was no cleaning up the strings or anything else in here. So it didn't string too much at all, which is pretty good. And the sides, you know, here the the walls are super duper smooth. Uh, it's very strong, and the top layers are smooth. You know, and it came out very good. You know, this is a good, I, I, I like the PETG filament. It, it's, it's very interesting stuff. Again, I've, I've never used it prior to this. So it, it's pretty interesting. And, and the clear as well, I've never used anything clear. I was expecting it to come out clearish. Maybe that was just me being naive. Um, or if I use larger layers, but I mean, I guess, you know, as it comes out and it hardens, it doesn't harden clear again you know, because it's like stretched or, you know, it's, I don't know. It's just weird, but it, it's pretty cool. You know, you hold up to the light, you can see all of the, the infill in it. Uh, I can put my finger behind it. I can't really see that in the camera, but I can see it really well here. Um, so yeah, so this PETG came out really nice. I don't think I'll ever buy a clear filament again, because I mean, maybe if I had a, the proper model for it, but this is definitely not the proper model for it. And yeah, but it's interesting. It printed very well. It adhered well to the bed. Um, so I can't really say much else about it. Um, I hope to get some more PETG to print with from other companies so I can kind of do experiments. I know PLA very well now, but I don't know this. So this uh, Philobot PET Bless came out pretty good. Okay, so I received some black ASA filament from Toner Plastics. They said this is very, very similar to ABS but a little bit better against UV resistance and weather resistance. I could not get this to print at all. I didn't want to waste it. You can see the, the roll is almost full still. I did not want to waste it, but I could not get this to stay on the bed. I do not have an enclosed printer. Uh, you can see my, my G-Tech here, and I have the FT5. So what I did is I tried to cover the FT5 with a old curtain that I have, a pretty thick curtain to keep the the temperature contained, but the, the stock heat bed on the FT5 does not really go above 80 Celsius. And I'm trying to get, you know, that 100, 110 to make it hold down. And it just was not working. And I also don't have any glue sticks right now. I'm hoping some comes in the mail this week. We'll give this another try, but as of today, could not get it. And I hope to print with this in the future, but you know, in order to keep this video out in a, in a good timeline. Um, I'm not going to be posting it for this video, but maybe in the future, another maker box, I'll go back and reference this one and we'll finally get a print out of it one day. And finally, I have Rigid Inks Green PLA, which is all gone because I had to use it. And this, this was interesting. So power here is not fantastic. You saw there was a blip earlier here in the video. 
so I started printing it and the power blipped and my printer turned off. So it stopped. But it was coming out very good. Uh, there's not a lot of stringing in there. Um, you know, not too many of the, the zits in the sidewalls. So it, it came out pretty well. So I was like, okay, let's start it over. And it happened again. I got a little bit further this time, almost halfway through the model. And it happened again. So I was like, you know what? This is not working out. I need to get out and get me UPS. So on Saturday, I ran out, got a UPS, finally got it to work. And let's take a look at it. And here it is. And of course, because I had to print it three times, I ran out of filament. So I grabbed some inland yellow PLA and finished it off. And you know, this PLA prints like all the other PLA I have. Walls are super smooth. You know, my printers handle it very, very well. And it came out great. You know, it was a, it was a good PLA. I'd have to look at their prices. You know, they give a discount of 10%. I'd have to see how well it is, but I mean, compared to the Inland PLA for $15, don't know if it can really match up to it. I mean, the Inland PLA printed great. And this prints great, but not fantastic. Again, back here, you can see it had issues with this overhang here on the support, um, looping around, it didn't come out very clean. Here on the outside where the support was, it didn't come out clean there at all either. Uh, that's probably just due to the nature of the model, but I was kind of hoping that it would do a little bit better with it. Um, this is with a full cooling fan as well on my G-Tech, and usually the G-Tech can print this, or print anything very, very well, even with overhangs. So overhangs or these bridgings, you know, the undersides, but it's a good PLA. Is it anything to write home about? No. So I'll let the, the price speak to it for you, but you know, if you have it, you have a way to get it cheap. Again, I don't, I don't know what their price is online. I'd have to go and look, but it prints well. I do like the color though. It's a very nice color. Um, I, I'm also super mad that I ran out, but that's just, you know, power here sucks, so you have to deal with it. Okay guys, so that's my review or unboxing, I should say, of the July Maker Box that gives you filaments. Uh, it's a subscription box. They did not send this to me for free. I purchased this with my own money and I purchased a nozzle with their discount you know, with my own money again so that if they do send me other any other exotics, I can at least have the nozzle to do it. I hope to do an E3D setup on one of my printers here in the near future to help out with any of the higher temperature items, but until anything up to 240, 245, I'm okay with right now. So if you like this video, you know, please give it a like. Please subscribe to my channel, it helps me out a lot. There's that power blip again we talked about. So it always helps out. I'm trying to push out more content to you guys. There's a lot more videos coming up. I posted my to-do list on my Facebook group, on my Facebook page, I should say. Uh, my to-do list is huge. I have a lot of stuff coming in, a lot of ideas I wanna post. So please subscribe so you know when things come out. And as always, happy printing.